many of us are concerned about the rapture. We're concerned about the, the hard times that are coming. Many people think we're in the end times. A lot of us, you know, a lot of people don't think we're in the end times. We're just in really bad times right now. Um, people are concerned about the rapture, pre-tribulation, all those things that there's so many interpretations of it. And honestly, when you read the Bible, okay, you can make it fit whatever's going on in your mind, I believe, in some cases, right? So that's why there's this this uh, pre-rapture and no pre-rapture, right? The, this conversation going on. Both sides can prove their point. So what we're about around 5 o'clock this morning, I got up out of bed and thought, I was like wide awake. I was up a few times last night, and I thought, I'm just going to sit down and read my Bible. So... I had a little conversation and I said, okay, you know, please just guide me to what I'm meant to understand and share today. So I kept, he showed me this word, God showed me this world that looked like testimonials. Okay. And I'm like, testimonials. I didn't know there were testimonials in the Bible, but I guess I'll look right. So I went into the chap, the, the beginning and looked down the list and I'm like, I saw Thessalonians and I'm like, okay, that sounds like it, but that's not testimonials. Flip to the next page, still no testimonials. And he kept my eye on Thessalonians. So I'm like, okay. So I flipped through the book, okay? And it landed on Colossians, actually, where I had just finished doing a message the other day. And then he said, flip it one more time. So I'm like, okay. I flipped it and it went straight to Thessalonians number five, num verse one. Okay, so I've typed it out. I'm just gonna read it. Um, but basically, what we're being guided to do is be very discerning, read the words that are given to us and and feel it in your heart. Ask the Holy Spirit, right, to make it clear to you. Ask Jesus to make it clear to you. So I'm just going to read what was in the verse, okay, because I too have the same questions that you guys do. I'm really hoping there's going to be a rapture before anything like gets really bad on the planet, okay. So <clears throat> this is our answer. Well, this is the answer he gave to me, okay? So Thessalonians 5.1. Brothers and sisters, we don't have to write to you about the time and dates. You know very well how the day of the Lord will come. And then he jumped me down to number four. And he says, brothers and sisters, you are not in the darkness. So that day should not surprise you like a thief would, okay, if somebody broke into your house. All of you are children of the light. You are children of the day. We don't belong to the night. We don't belong to darkness. So let us not be like others. So then it goes on to say they are asleep. Instead, be wide awake and in full control of ourselves. Okay, be in control of this vessel, your vessel. And don't worry about everybody else. Well, although you can share the word of Jesus, of course, but don't be getting in everybody's business and don't be don't be they're saying don't be holier than thou okay don't uh try to push things on people if they're not ready to receive they have to be open-hearted and ready to receive anything if you're going to share it okay so um be in full control of yourself and then the whole message about how can we be prepared many of us go oh gosh i know i've say i've i've given myself to jesus probably a hundred times just to make sure <laughs> that i'm saved right okay so he's saying this is how we can be prepared and how we can be ready from this day forward if you're unsure so um i'm gonna just read my ipad because he took me to colossians 3 he flipped me back to where i was the last time i was in the bible okay and he said don't let your feelings get out of control. Don't let your feelings get out of control. Uh, remove your life from all evil desires. So get rid of all the dark stuff, right? Stop always wanting more and more. Uh, you might as well be worshiping statues of God. God's anger is going to come because of these things. Okay, so I think he's pretty ticked at the world right now that we're all, or not we're all, I just speak like that that many are so focused on material things without the the um, service to others mentality. It's service to self instead of service to others, okay? So God God's anger is going to come because of these things. That's the way you lived at one time in your life. So you may have been like that before you, you know, let Jesus in, right? Um, but now here are the kinds of things you also must get rid of, okay? Um, you must get rid of anger rage, hate, and lies. 
Let no dirty words come out of your mouth. Now, I know there's many of us that need to stop swearing. It's not just a word. It's a vibration we're putting out there. Now, I grew up on a farm, and I, I'm, I'm bad. I can admit it. I swear I get, you know, angry, but I'm going to, like, really work on that personally. Um, don't lie to one another. That's another one. And I'll tell you, if you're sitting with God, you can see a lie a mile away. So that's a good indication that your heart's in a good place. Okay, you've gotten rid of your old way of life and its habits. Now you've started living a new life. Um, your your knowledge of how that life should be, have the creator's likeness in being made new. Okay, so you can continue to read that if you like. Actually, it was very interesting to go through those two places, Thessalonians and back to Colossians, because it's Paul, Prophet Paul, Apostle Paul. Okay, who's speaking? And I told you before, I had that vision of him like blessing me on the side of my bed one time. It's really, really bizarre. But anyway, so the message is not very long, although I see holy, I'm at six minutes already. So I'm not going to keep you. It's just mainly, we're all, many of us are just in that place of uncertainty and we need to trust that God is with us on our side, however you think about that whole scenario. Okay, Jesus is the way to heaven. You got to go through him to get to God. So don't like forget that. Reach out to him. If you don't feel that that Jesus is what you want, you feel it's manipulation. It's he's been created by the the um, elite or or whatever to mess with our minds. Your heart will be able to tell you that. Your heart will tell you. It's not that you've had to go to church to understand about Jesus. If you are meant to follow Jesus and he wants everybody to follow him then you will feel it in your heart and nobody will be able to tell you otherwise. Especially if you've seen him or had visions or been caught up or anything like that. Or you hear, okay, trust the Holy Spirit speaking to you. Trust that Jesus and God are speaking to you. They have your back and they want you. So um, do those things. I guess we've got to tweak our behavior a little bit and stay safe out there in Canada. Like Ontario, we're having some pretty big ice storm coming through today. So if you're out there and you're in my location, drive safe and uh, have a great day, everybody. And thank you for following me. Like and share my videos um, and, and try to get my message out there to help others. Okay, thank you.